Now, last time I, we did this video, um, I was sculpturing the uh, drawer fronts. Now, I got all the case all done. I have a finish on it, but it'll be a lot easier having the finish while it's apart than together. And now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install the hardware over here. Okay, uh, here we go. Now, what we're going to cut away, and when we come back, um, I'll have it all installed. Okay, that's the last one. So we got the magnets that hold the door, and then these are the locking parts. Now, the next step we're going to do is uh, change the drill bits. And now we're going to be installing the side panels and center panels. They're joined together. These are already sealed in here. Here, you'll see the screws go in there. And once everything's all lined up and I know it's right, I will put the caps over here too. Okay, so I'm going to uh, install this now. and I'll show you installing the last one. Okay, just lining up everything. Put that paper back there so we don't uh, scratch the finished surface. You know, that's all hand tightened. Next thing is the panels. The back panels. I was just uh, looking at because I have it. I have the pattern. I wanted to go a certain way. Okay, now we got the panels in. Okay, now, next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to fit the top. And once I'm sure that everything's fit perfectly, I'm then going to install the draw, drawer back brackets. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay, so when I come back, we'll go to the next step. All right, next I'm going to be putting in the uh, plugs, the walnut plugs. You just go over like this. All right, 
And then after this, Here are the brackets I made. Uh, that's for the drawers, and they'll they'll mount right over here, and the drawers will look like they're floating. All right, when I come back, I'll have these all mounted in. Okay, that's the last screw on that. You can see all the caps are on. Now I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to put some clear coat over that and you can see how, how they get their color when the clear coat goes on. Okay, we'll just get up in here. And then you can see how they all get their nice dark color. Okay, now the next step We'll be uh, installing the uh, the bottom. Just clean this up a little bit. I'll install the bottom. So as soon as we come back, I'll have the bottom all set up, and then I'll show you how I put that together. All right, now here's the bottom. You can see it's all inlaid. There's the track. Now what I do is because I haven't have I finished back, I drilled these holes so you can run electrical wires on it, and then these discs, they're they're machine screws. And they just go right in and they're decorative plates that will cover the hole this one goes over here oh. all right and then uh, after i get these installed we're going to have the top or the bottom uh, attached to the top okay yeah. Okay, that's the uh, last screw, it's all put together. Now, let's get these nice and firm. And you, I don't know if you can zoom in here, but uh, it's already signed right there. Now I'm going to get the legs. Now it's all on. Now next step, we're going to flip it around. Put the camera down. Hey, can you can you see that on there? Hey, come on, help me uh, flip it. We'll do a flip it over like this. drawers in and then the shelf to show you what that looks like. Here's the back. As you can see the back is all finished. Okay and now uh, I'll go get the drawers and the shelves and then that will be it for today. Okay here's the uh, shelf. As you can see we have the inlay and I put black limba wood here with a 45 degree Taper. A little snag, but uh, 
it's in now. Okay, now the next thing is the drawers. You can see inlaid quilted maple. Bottoms are drawered, they're signed. This is the bottom drawer. You can see the walnut dowels, box joints, and solid maple. They're adjustable, but uh, there you can see. Okay, uh, I am your carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> 